Hey everyone, it's David the Cartoon Guy, and I'm here with another Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 related video, specifically about the roster for the game. It There is a bit of a problem for the roster th that I personally have with it. I like the roster overall, but allow me to explain my problem. So, as a lot of you may know, the a bit more of the roster for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 has been leaked, and... Um, so far the new characters that we've seen that were not in the trailer, or part of the leaks beforehand, were, or are, Plankton, Gerald, Arnold's Grandma, Ember McLean, Azula, El Tigre, I know he was leaked before, but now it's official, and Norbert and Daggett, who I imagine will be a duo fighter, much like Ren and Stimpy. Now while it is cool seeing all these new characters join the game, there is a bit of a problem I have with a lot of them come from shows that were already a part of the first game. The only new characters to join the game that were not part of shows from the first game are El Tigre and Norton Daggett. Which means there are only two new franchises being represented. El Tigre and the Angry Beavers. And this is sort of a problem that the roster for Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 had as well. Allow me to explain. So, the roster for Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 ended up having 16 new characters that were not featured in the second game. And no, I'm not counting the 87 versions of the Ninja Turtles replacing the 2012 versions of the Ninja Turtles because they're still the Ninja Turtles. And of these new characters, we ended up getting Camper SpongeBob, Camper Patrick, Squidina, April O'Neil, Toph, Zuko, Susie, Oblina, Jimmy Neutron, Cindy Vortex, Powder Toast Man, Jenny, Garfield, Odie, Eastman and Laird, Raphael, and Purple Reptar. I'm not really sure if you'd count those last two as new characters, but whatever. Now, out of these 16 new characters, only six of them come from shows that were not a part of the second game. And they only come from four different franchises. Ah, Real Monsters... Jimmy Neutron, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and Garfield. Only four new franchises got represented in Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 that were not a part of Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. And no, I'm not counting Camp Coral and the Patrick Star Show because they are still a part of the SpongeBob SquarePants franchise. And this kind of ties into what I said earlier about me wanting them to keep CatDog in the game because if CatDog ends up getting cut, that means the CatDog series ends up getting cut as well. And to my knowledge, the two most requested characters for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 seem to be Timmy from the Fairly Odd Parents and Otis from Back at the Barnyard. Now, I know Nelvana is the issue about Timmy not getting into the game, but people still want Timmy to be a part of it. And if Otis gets into the game, then that means Back at the Barnyard will finally be properly represented in a Nickelodeon crossover game. Yes, Otis was one of the master models that you could find in Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, and Otis, Bessie, and Pig appear on a loading screen for Nicktoons MLV, but Back at the Barnyard was never properly featured in a Nickelodeon crossover game. So, that's two shows that are not represented in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 that people are asking for. And I actually thought of a couple of other shows that I would personally like to see in the game, those being Tough Puppy, obviously, Chalk Zone, and since Uncle Al did a whole video on it, I'd kind of like to see Cat Scratch join the game too. Especially since Tough Puppy was only ever featured in one Nickelodeon crossover game, Nicktoons MLB, and Chalk Zone and Cat Scratch were never really featured in a Nickelodeon crossover game at all. Yes, Rudy, Tabooty, and Mr. Blick were master models that you could find in Attack of the Toy Bots, and Mr. Blick was playable in the DS version of Attack of the Toy Bots, but they were never truly properly featured in a Nickelodeon console crossover game. And I guess you could count Waffle being playable in the plug-and-play game Nicktoon Summer Camp, but at the same time, it doesn't seem official, at least to me. But that's pretty much all I have to say about my problem with the roster for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. I'm still looking forward to the game. 
thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I kind of hope you can understand where I'm going with this. And let me know if there are any shows that you guys would like to see join Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. And I will see you later.